Hey guys, it's me Courtney and today I want to show you how I apply different foils onto my gel polish. So let's just get started. I'm going to use the same color that I painted my nails. Uh, I did them earlier, but you would obviously just not top coat and start the foiling process at the point where you finish curing your last color coat. So I'm going to pretend like this is my second color coat and I'm painting it on the nail and that's going to get cured for half of the time that I normally cure my gel polish. So this one I usually cure for 60 seconds in my sun UV lamp. So for foiling I'm only going to cure it for 30 seconds and I'll tell you why. Because the shorter that you cure gel polish, the tackier it is. The longer you cure it, the less sticky it's going to be. And you want the foil to stick onto the nail. So I'm just going to cure that for a little 30 seconds and then it's gonna be ready. So foils come in all kinds of different colors and patterns. They come in plain as well. Um, I like to use them just abstract. I find that's the easiest way. You can get some foils that are full pattern, like this lace or these peacock feathers or even these little bows. But I find them to be very difficult and probably would use a special gel for that rather than just the tacky layer of the gel polish. So that's cured for 30 seconds. And I'll just test one corner of it and make sure that it's a little bit sticky. And it is. So the one that I'm going to use on my nail is from Funky Sugar. I like all of her foils. I'm just going to cut a little piece off and use that. Oh Lord, that's probably the dullest scissors in the world. Here we go. So sometimes you need to clean the back of the foil with acetone. You can tell which is the back because one side's going to be super shiny and the other side's not. So the shiny part is obviously what you want to be on the top. So you always press the duller side onto the nail. I don't think I've used this one before. If I have, I don't remember. So I will just give it a little wipe with acetone and just see what happens. Sometimes when you do this, it removes the whole pattern from the plastic. And then you know that that's not one of the ones that you need to wipe with acetone. But this one is okay. Okay, so now I've wiped it with acetone. It's taken off a little bit of the dull um, layer and it looks similar to the other side. So now I'm just going to press it onto my nail. I want it to be abstract, so I'm not going to press it and cover the whole thing. I'm just going to use this part of my thumb and dab it like this, okay? And then it should stick just where you touch it, like that. You can go in with another color. Let's try this without using the acetone. And of course it will only stick to the places that don't have foil on it anymore. Oh, I should have used the pink one, that was stupid. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit more in there with some gold. Not much. So now that's done. You can go straight in with a top coat if you want, but if I'm using foil or glitter or anything that is on top of the gel polish, I like to go in with a rubber base coat um, first just to make sure that it's all sealed. And another bonus of a base coat is if you've already painted the nail or you've done a layer of foil and you don't want, or you want to add some more foil, but it's not sticky anymore. You can go over it with the base coat, cure it for 30 seconds, um, and then the foil will stick to it again. I should have mentioned actually that if you're only curing your polish for 30 seconds, then you need to put it back in and cure it for the other 30 seconds as well because under cured gel on your nail is not great. I'm gonna be taking this off immediately after I finish this video, so I'm not worried about myself, but always finish your cure if you only cure for 30 seconds. 
So I'll just pop that in there. That's the clear base coat. And then I'll show you that you can stick foil on top of base coat as well. Okay, so that's the base coat. It's been cured for 30 seconds. I want to put some of this pink one on. Um, oh shoot, I touched the thing. Base coat sometimes needs to cure longer than 30 seconds. So you'll just have to try yours and see if it's going to be sticky enough. If you try to do it and it feels a little bit wet and it's not sticking, then just pop it in for another 30 seconds and see how you go. When you take it off, so I'm pressing quite hard, you can see, because I felt that it wasn't really sticking. Pressing quite hard and then when I take it off, I rip it off like a band-aid or a plaster for those of you in the UK. And that has really good effect. So that, my friends, is how you put foil on your nails. You can play around with it and do different layers, do half the nails. Sometimes I just do a little bit of foil on the one side in kind of a moon crescent shape. Um, I'll come back another day and show you how I do the full cover and foils. You can see here that I've already done two nails, but it obviously didn't work that great. So I'll try and master that and troubleshoot it a little bit and I'll come back and show you how to do it. So hopefully you found that super helpful. If you haven't tried foils yet, give them a try. You can get them super cheap on eBay or from Funky Sugar Foils funky sugar glitter mixes, but they sell foil as well. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.